Hello friends, Samuel Grimm, doing TCGs yet again. We got another box of Monarch First Edition, like I said last time. Uh, just picked these up kind of on a whim. Uh, saw it pop up and it was a decent enough deal, so I figured, why not have a blast from the past? I'm testing some camera setup. Uh, my last one, still my biggest issue, has been focus for my... Um, card camera I'm and then I had a little bit of glare on my face camera um, I'm trying this out using only a light up here instead of my overhead light for the room and seeing if that gets us any better for either of those it already seems to have helped with the issue for my um, face cam let's see how it does for the other one there's our first foil is a second swing. Gallantry gold, pulping, seek horizon, and nothing too crazy in that first pack. We did have a legendary in that first box, a uh, cold foil. Um, the uh, the cloak of soul. Um, wow. Vestige of soul, thank you. Um, engulfing light. Rouse the Ancients for a decent enough Majestic hit there. We had seven non-foil Majestics, two foil Majestics. We also had a cold foil, a uh, common cold foil, um, in addition to the Vestige. So that was really a pretty solid uh, first box that I opened. There's Ghostly Visit. Um, so I'm kind of like, ooh. Maybe this one has some fun in store for us as well. Um, but yeah, just having a good time. Hadn't opened any of this for in a while. Saw a good value and uh, saw a good price and decided to just take a whack at it. First rare foil, Duskpath Pilgrimage. I know this set is has a pretty bad rap because of its big print run that was announced um but i still think you know there was a lot of cool stuff i've talked a lot about how i love um like angel artwork cards and this gave us lots of that for sure so it has a place in my heart there um both i'm not as big on the uh like the the shadow stuff that gives sort of some uh I don't always love the more gruesome art. I guess that's where I'm going with it, uh, that we get a lot of in this set. But, ooh, Nourishing Emptiness. A good Majestic right there. Um, so, like, about half of the, Like, that Howl from Beyond is a great example. Um, Bolt of Courage is one of the ones I do like. Cross the Line I always thought looked cool. All right, so there is a cold foil for us. Coming this early, I kind of feel like maybe that is our spice for this box, but that is all right if so. I definitely put those in a different stack than I meant to. I'm just causing all kinds of trouble already, aren't I? But... It does seem like, at least at this point, knock on wood, that, and this right here, this is my favorite piece of art. I absolutely love this card, especially in foil, but that, and then this one right behind it's pretty cool too, the Herald of Ravages. I love both of those cards. That's the kind of thing that really gives this set a uh, special place in my heart. I think Beast Tolkien out muscle. So we do already have a cold foil. We got cold foil hooves of the Shadow Beast, which is one of the common pieces of equipment. Let's see if we can get lucky and find another one. Bolt of Courage. There's the non foil hooves and a couple of rares. But yeah, what does everybody else think about this set in hindsight? You can talk about, include the uh, trouble with the 
the print run, you can talk about well, whatever you care to talk about about it. The art, the cards themselves in it. It's the only set, and there is a bolting blade. I had a foil and a non-foil of that in the last box. Um, it is intriguing that this is the one. There's my Herald again. Um, that we now have uh, two living legends in classic constructed from this set now with a uh, chain and prism that is kind of peculiar i don't you know no set no other set has can say the same um so that is a pretty neat thing obviously there are cards there are heroes strategies in it that are excellent and viable so not a arcanics that's always been a cool piece of art too I like that card a lot. So I don't love right now the lighting that I have, but it does seem to be holding the camera stuff better. Uh, it's not necessarily popping the art like I would like though. So that is an interesting thing to consider. But then it had two heroes, and then Bolton, you know, while not necessarily, like, big, ace, top-tier meta, anything like that, has also had shown some pretty impressive moments and has some some good stuff going for him. So, chain. So there's definitely some power here. It's really only Levia who, you know, who has her big... Her big supporters has a fandom. Ooh. And our foil majestic is nourishing emptiness, which is a really subtle foil, but still a card that I do not mind having the foil of. A couple more rares. So yeah, Levia is another one that just is about the only one that hasn't had at least nominal success. She's got, I, I, and I guess she's had some nominal success, but not much better than that. Um, plow through and soul reaping. It just has underwhelmed as a rule, I suppose, is the way to look at that. Boneyard Marauder. So we've got a cold foil, a rainbow foil majestic, and only three Majestics. So the last couple packs here could be interesting. And that could be good interesting or horrific interesting. Two out muscles. Because we've got six packs left. And I would hope to see at least three more Majestics in those six packs. What are we going to find? Smash with Big Tree. Battlefield Blitz and Genesis. All right. This one makes me a little bit sad now. Thinking about uh, George having the spoiler for that. That makes me happy to see it. Think about it as the, uh, th there was always the joke of the, oh, you got to foil George. Um But uh, it's it, it's it's bittersweet now. Always cool to see majestic, but that one and there are definitely a couple of them. The smash with big tree. I was thinking about Louis. Uh, smash, smash, smash too. Um, so it's always interesting, though. You know, look back, see what has changed. Three packs left. Still hoping for two more majestics. What are we going to find? <laughs> Smash with Big Tree again. All right, all right, all right. There's another Majestic. That is Hexagore the Death Hydra. Not a foil version. That would be something nice to see, too, is uh, one of the, the surprise cold foils or an extended art uh, foil. I'm kind of not expecting it at this point. There's Tremor. 
couple of rares, and Sir Bolton, speaking of him from earlier, and a last pack. Let's see what we have. Let's hope for one more Majestic. Hungering Slaughter Beast is the foil, so no extended art foil there. And I put these in the wrong stack again. Why'd you let me do that? Hooves of the Slaughter Beast. And no additional Majestic. So we picked up two boxes of this. One of them ended up pretty good. The other one... Mediocre at best. Oh, I had one more for I did this the last box too. I ended up having one more majestic than I actually thought I did. So there, th w this box hit about average. We got our cold foil. We got a rainbow foil majestic. We got six majestics. Not as good as that last box, but also not dreadful. We can live with that. Um, but yeah, it was nice revisiting this set. I might see if I can come across a little bit more because it's just fun to go back through it and I really enjoyed it but thank you very much for spending some time reminiscing with me also working with me a little bit through this new camera setup um, while I'm wearing my fun fun Bucky t-shirt um, and uh, this one went a little bit more smoothly than the last one so I appreciate uh, your patience you're continuing to spend some time with me uh, like and subscribe if you like what you see if not just thank you for being here i really do appreciate it and i try not to take it for granted i hope you all have a fantastic rest of the day be good out there bye y'all